across California, businesses are slowly starting to open as they begin to rebound. Some major retailers are calling it quits and permanently closing their doors. Our investigator Adam Rakuzin looks at the struggle to get customers back through the doors and what happens to jobs if that doesn't take place. People do want to say yes to the dress because they want to look beautiful on their big day. Inside of preview formal and bridal everywhere you turn is elegance. The racks are stocked and once again waiting for brides to find their perfect dress. It's been great. Our brides are so happy. People have been coming in. While business may finally be open, things are a little different. Face masks, social distancing guidelines and strict sanitation policies are in place. It is more quiet in here. It's not the busy hustle and bustle, but people have loved it because it's a more intimate setting. The brides can say yes with their family and friends close by and there's not many distractions in the store. Preview is one of the lucky ones. A loyal customer base, smart marketing strategy and outside the box thinking kept them afloat and brought them back. As malls and stores across the state start to reopen, not everyone will see the lights turn back on. On Wednesday, the store Tuesday morning joined JCPenney, Neiman Marcus and J. Crew in filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Last week, Victoria's Secret announced it's closing hundreds of stores and Pier 1 said it will permanently close all of its stores. Some of these jobs will be lost forever. Some of them will come back. We know there's going to be a lot of problems for retailers getting back on their feet. Lynn Reeser is the chief economist at Point Loma Nazarene University. She says many large retailers were struggling before the pandemic. The closures were just the final straw. She believes when jobs do come back, they'll look a bit different. In many cases, uh, we'll see more people needed to do the sanitizing to make sure that people are obeying the rules in retailing. So the jobs are going to change character. This is a real stress test for a lot of small businesses. George Belch is a professor of marketing at San Diego State University. He believes the state is seeing economic activity because there's a lot of pent up demand. People like to shop. The question is, how safe do people feel in stores? Retailers rely on traffic. They need people in the stores. They need people browsing. They need people just wanting to shop. For this family business, the game plan, it's working. They've been around 37 years and plan to keep it that way. Once you've seen the way other stores and as well as our store have taken the steps to make sure that we're fully sanitized, I think it's a very, you feel comfortable, you get used to it, and then it's great just to be out in public again. Adam Rakusin, 10 News. According to the National Retail Federation, a quarter of the jobs in California are supported by the retail industry. If you need help getting back on your feet, go to our homepage and click on the Rebound San Diego section. There you're going to find our Rebound resource guide full of helpful links to things like employment services, food assistance, health care and child care services.